everyone, welcome back to Opal and Mint. I am Ashley. My paint finally got in. If you watched our Etsy shopping and Etsy haul video, you know what paint I'm talking about. I've been waiting for this to come in so I can try it out and I finally got a hold of it today. I had to go down to the post office this morning and pick this up, but it finally got here. And this is paint that I bought on Etsy. It is from a brand called Essie, I think is how you say it. Let me look at the E-S-S-E-E, -E, Earth and Essence. Anyways, it's here and it's gorgeous. And we're gonna swatch it today. We're gonna paint something. I have a migraine right now, so if I look a little crazy, it's because my head is killing me. But I did not wanna wait any longer to try these paints out. Um, the packaging I wanted to know was interesting. So this came from Italy. And for packing, you know, packing stuff, they put in nature. Uh, these are leaves of some sort, which I thought was interesting, which is kind of cool. But then also at the same time, I'm allergic to pretty much everything that grows. So potentially a problem for me, but better for most people. Let's look at these paints. Here is the beautiful box that it comes in. You get to choose if you want to pay more and get the expensive box. They have a couple of different options, but I like the wood box. It's nice. And here are the colors that I got. So we're gonna open these up. We're gonna swatch them. They're gonna paint. We're gonna paint, we're gonna play. Even their names on the side right there too. So I really enjoy this box. But anyways, let's go ahead, turn the camera around and start painting. Let's go ahead and look at these paints. Let's zoom in here. Again, like I said, the box is stunning. The magnets on here are quite strong. And let's go ahead and unwrap these. So the colors we have are Naples Yellow Titanium, which looks beautiful. We have Northern Lights. This is the Aurora, Bo Aurora Borealis um, palette, by the way. Opera Rose Magenta. Ooh, that one's sticky. I wonder if they use honey in their paints. Oh no, Lunar Black is down. We have Lunar Black. Next up is Berlin Blue. And the last color is Garnet Red Quinacridone, PV19. So there are the paints. Let's get some paper out and start swatching these. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and start swatching these. My desk is covered right now. I really need to clean. Okay, so I'm gonna swatch with the Princeton Snap Round, size six. And we're gonna start with the yellow. So far, it's reactivating beautifully. Nice pigmentation. Very smooth. Let's see how it lifts. This is a beautiful paint. Very smooth paint. All right, so there's the yellow. Um, I said that was Naples Yellow Titanium. Let's do the, um, which one is this one called? Oh, it does have honey in it, by the way. Uh, water, pigment, gum, glycerin, honey, and clove. That's cool. I like that they put that on there. Um, anyways, this is the Garnet Red Quinacridone. This looks like it's going to be really pretty. Oh yeah. That is gorgeous. They are so easy to activate, which is due to the honey in them. I've definitely used some paints with honey. I haven't fallen in love with any paints that have honey in them. 
Um, they haven't like become any of my absolute favorites yet, but this one is really nice. Okay. If you have any brands of paint that use honey in their formulation that you love, let me know in the comments because I'm curious just to know any of your favorites. Okay, this is a beautiful green. And again, this one was called Northern Lights. This has PY43, PY3, and PG7. Let's see what the Naples one had in it. PY53, and then the Garnet one had um, PV19 in it. If you are curious about pigments, some handmade brands don't identify pigments. And so I am glad to see ones that do. Um, these are beautiful. Oh, that's a gorgeous color. Okay. Already loving these. All right. This one is Berlin blue and it has PB 27 in it. Yeah, these are smooth, very rich. Nice. I like it, I like it a lot. All right, let's see how this bright pink is. So again, this one is Opera Rose and it is PR122. Sorry, Opera Rose Magenta. Oh yeah. I personally, I've said this many times in videos, but I personally do not like to wet my paints down with a spray bottle or anything before I use them. I just go in with a wet brush and activate the ones I'm using. So I personally appreciate paints that activate quickly and without too much effort. And these are activating so beautifully. Yeah, I like that. All right, and then the last color is the Lunar Black. Um, Lunar Black Iron Oxide, and it's PBK11. Let's see if this one granulates. Oh, that's rich, look at that black. Holy moly. That is a rich black. I know that some people don't like using black watercolors. I say do what you want. I like using black watercolors. I love using Daniel Smith's Lunar Black. I love the way it granulates and the effects you can get. This one's fascinating. This one almost looks like it would be a magnetized color. I don't know why I get that feel, but I do makes me very curious because it says it is magnetic <laughs> mm, okay we're gonna play a game here yeah the way I put my brush in the way the pigments are moving around yeah <gasps> that is so cool since it said iron oxide oh that's crazy the pigments are coming and sticking to the magnet. Sorry, I know I'm messing this swatch up, but. Interesting. Um, I'm wondering if there are any cool effects I could do with that. I know one of the Daniel Smiths, somebody's told me that one of the Daniel Smiths is magnetic like that. That's the only reason I thought of it. That's kind of cool. Anyways, so there's the Lunar Black iron oxide. It does some really cool effects just by putting your brush in it even. So, okay. So there are the swatches. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed on first impressions here. Um, let's go ahead and paint something. I'm going to kind of doodle paint around these, around these swatches since there's still room. Let's start here.
pretty. Let's get the green. Yeah, I wanna see how they interact and uh, blend into each other. That's a beautiful blend. Oh, the blends on these. I am very excited by this. All right, let's mix up some of this blue with the pink. If you can see what I'm mixing over here. Oh, this purple, mixing up some colors over here. I love to see how the paints mix and interact with each other colors. Okay, so let's, man, these are rich. That's beautiful. I like the color selection in this particular palette. There were a bunch of palettes um, on their Etsy store that were like all variations of the same hue. So it was like a palette of blues and a palette of greens. And I, I, I didn't want that because I wanted you know, to have a complete set of colors that I could mix and do different things. Um, so I got this one and I really like the combination of colors. I probably would have wanted maybe one more yellow that was a little bit more vibrant. This one's a, like it says, it's a light, it's a Naples light, uh, but it's beautiful. I really enjoy it. Okay, I wanna see what I can do with this lunar black. I'm not sure what to do with it. Hmm. What should I do? We're gonna do like a, like it's a black and white painting. Okay, we're gonna, oh my gosh. This is stunning. I have never used one that looks quite like this. I don't even know how to describe it. The way it moves. I don't know if you see that. And it's, it's not just black. It's got some, oh my goodness, I hope you can't hear the train. You probably can. But it's got some browny red ruddiness to it. <laughs> It's that iron oxide, I guess. I guess it's a combination of, I don't know, it says it's PBK11, like there's one pigment, but I've never, oh, it just explodes. I've never seen it act like this before. So it's fascinating to me. I could see having a lot of fun with this color. Mm. Okay, I wanna see how they layer. So let me take a little bit of this. Oh yeah, look at the colors coming through. That's so crazy. Let's layer some details. Okay, I'm very, very pleased with this. I'm curious if anybody's heard of this brand. When I saw it on um, Etsy, I recognized the name because another YouTuber um, mentioned it. I don't remember if they liked it, if they used it. They just, I just remember hearing the name because they said Essie and I was like, the nail polish Essie? <laughs> um, but no, different one. Um, but yeah, I am excited by these paints. Look how rich. That is so nice. Yeah, I'm excited about these, so. Anyways, this is probably going to be super short, but I just wanted to come on here and show you because I know y'all have been waiting as well for me to get these paints in. Um, yeah. But if you want to see me feature these in any future videos, I'm definitely going to be playing around with these. So um, if you want to see these in a watercolor blooms episode, or if you want me to do an even more detailed video where I do like a really big painting with these or something, let me know. But I think that is gonna wrap it up for this one. If you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you wanna see our future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I say bye to you as I continue painting. I need to paint more. Oh, I'm excited by these.
The blending of these. Oh. These are really, really good paints. Yep, I very, very impressed. Okay, I wanna do one more thing. I wanna take this black and blend it down. Ah, why did that just give in? Yeah, look at the, okay, you've got to see this. Oh, I just stuck my finger in paint. Do you see the colors in that black? How is that just BK11? It's got to have iron oxides in it too. Like it's lunar black iron oxide. So I'm confused. That is just so cool. Did you see it? Do you, do you see that? Watch when I touch the paint to the water. Just, just watch. Do you see it like whew, through the water? I don't, I don't know how to, uh... do you see the pigments moving? Like, I don't, oh, come on people. <laughs>